Hi everyone, Ian here. In this tutorial, we're going to introduce you to the concept of contexts. As a refresher, you construct scenes in Cavalry by using connections. Let's take a look at a simple example. First, create an ellipse, and then add it to a duplicator. Now we have nine ellipses. I'm going to create an array from a palette I have here, and then I'm going to connect the palette's output to the fill color of the ellipse, like so. This is a fairly standard thing to do in Cavalry. So the most important thing to notice here is that each ellipse has magically been given its own color. What is this wizardry, you may ask? This is the magic of what we call contexts. In effect, each of these shapes in the duplicator has an identifying number or an index as we like to call it. You can see the index if you turn on draw debug information in the viewport settings and then select the duplicator. Notice how we have numbers from 0 to 8. These numbers get passed around via the connections. For example, the array is using these numbers to assign colors. Notice how the color from index 0 on the array is being used by index 0 on the duplicator. Pretty neat, right? This kind of automated behavior is central to cavalry. It's one of the hundreds of ways in which we try to remove friction from workflows by basically guessing what you're trying to do. But guessing is a dangerous game. What if we get it wrong? Let's take this duplicator and put it inside another duplicator. Then let's make it so that there are two copies to keep things easy. As you can see, each ellipse has a different color. But is it the right different color? There are three possible outcomes that we as users may want from this situation. We may want every ellipse to have a different color and each set of nine to be different from each other. And that's what we have here by default. However, we may want each ellipse to have a different color, but each set of nine be identical or we may want each set of nine to have a single color. How can we control what happens? Well, by default, these context numbers get added together. So one duplicator's context numbers will be added to another's. This means that as you can see, each ellipse has a different color and note how each set of nine is different. That is to say, the sets don't match. How do we make the sets match? What we need to do is we need to stop this adding together of indices that I mentioned. To do this, Right click on the duplicator one header in the attribute editor, go to the advanced settings and turn off use incoming index. And as if by magic, our two sets of nine circles now match exactly. So that's two of the three possibilities. Now what if we wanted each set of nine to have a different color? Well, you can do this with what's called the index context connection on the duplicator. This connection will literally provide those index numbers that we saw earlier and allow you to plug them into whatever you'd like. So let's try plugging the index context from the second duplicator into the array index on the color array. Now each set of nine has a different color. Perfect. Let's show the debug information for the second duplicator and compare it to the colors on the color array. Notice how they match. There's also a utility called the context index. You can use this to get at these context numbers from anywhere. You may never need this utility, but if you do, it's good to know it exists. It provides an alternative to connecting the duplicator's index context in case you ever need it. These indices can be connected anywhere, including, for example, the spreadsheet row number. This just helps to make sure everything is getting data from the row that you want. Hopefully this peek behind the curtain will help you with some of the more advanced cavalry workflows. See you next time.